Hello, and welcome to the Daily Visual Bible. I'm Murray Yates. One of these days, I really should create a video looking back at how the Daily Visual Bible came into existence. You see, I could have easily just started to read the Bible. Why did I feel the need to put my daily readings on the internet? One simple word, accountability. With my readings being on the internet, knowing that there are new people who subscribe to the YouTube channel nearly every other day, it means that you who choose to watch these readings can hold me accountable when I fail to deliver my daily reading. I thank God for the opportunity to read his word daily, but I also thank you for being there to read too. I hope that you are blessed through this humble little show. It's Leviticus 10 today, so let us open God's word of prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, that you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they come to a better understanding of you. Amen. Leviticus chapter 10 Now Dab and Habihu, the sons of Aaron, each took his censer and put fire in it, and laid incense on it, and offered strange fire before Yahweh, which he had not commanded them. Fire came out from before Yahweh and devoured them, and they died before Yahweh. The Moses said to Aaron, This is what Yahweh spoke of, saying, I will show myself holy to those who come near me, and before all the people I will be glorified. Aaron held his peace. Moses called Mishael, Aladdin of Israel, the sons of Uriel, the uncle of Aaron, and said to them, Draw near. How your boys from before the sanctuary out of the camp. So they came near, and carried them in their coats out of the camp, as Moses had said. I said to Aaron and to Eleazar and to Ephemar, his sons, Don't let the air of your heads go loose, and don't tear your clothes, so that you don't die, so that he not be angry with all the congregation. But let your brothers, the whole house of Israel, bewail the burning which Yahweh has kindled. You shall not go out from the door of the tent of meeting, lest you die. For the anointing of Yahweh is on you. They did according to the word of Moses. And Yahweh said to Aaron, You and your sons are not to drink wine or strong drink whenever you go into the tent of meeting, or you will die. This shall be a law forever throughout your generations. You are to make a distinction between the holy and the common, and between the unclean and the clean. You are to teach the children of Israel all the laws which Yahweh has spoken to them by Moses. Moses spoke to Aaron and to Eleazar and Nephimah, his sons were left. Take the meal offering that remains of the offerings of Yahweh made by fire, and eat it without yeast beside the altar for it is most holy, and you shall eat it in a holy place, because it is your portion, and your son's portion, are the offerings of Yahweh, made by fire, for so I am commanded. Dway, breast, and heath high, you shall eat in a clean place, you and your sons, and your daughters with you, for they are given as your portion, and your son's portion, after the sacrifices of the peace offerings of the children of Israel. Wave breast and heave fine, they shall bring with the offerings made by fire of the fat. To wave it for a wave offering before Yahweh, they shall be yours, and your sons with you, as a portion forever, as Yahweh has commanded. Moses diligently inquired about a goat of the sin offering, and observed it was burned. He was angry with Eleazar and Ephemar, the sons of Aaron who were left, saying, Why haven't you eaten the sin offering? in the place of the sanctuary, since it is most holy, and he has given it to you, to bear the wickedness of the congregation, to seek forgiveness to all them before Yahweh. Look, its blood was not brought into the inner part of the sanctuary. You certainly should have eaten it in the sanctuary as I commanded. Aaron spoke to Moses. See, today they have offered their sin offering and their burnt offering before Yahweh, and such things as these have happened to me. If I had eaten the sin offering today, would it have been pleasing in Yahweh's sight? Moses heard that it was pleasing in his sight. Leviticus 